Good morning, and welcome to Morning Mario here on Steven Plays. Today, we have a Super Mario Bros. 3 themed level called Santa Mario is Coming to Town, created by Ollie. <laughs> World record of 2 minutes and 21 seconds and a clear rate of 2.5%. Uh, it's just interesting because it's... It's August. But hey, you know, it's... Watch this level again in December or celebrate Christmas now. That was beautiful. Die. Oh, was that what? I was like, wait, was that not what I was supposed to do? I think I'm... Oh. Wait, what am I... Hold on. But now I'm... But now I'm trapped. Alright, I'm dropping a package down the chimney, baby. Which... Does me some good? Oh wait, I, th I think I just don't need to go down there with him. When I drop that, he'll take care of everything. I get the key, he's trapped inside. Oh. I'm Santa! I, I have to deliver presents! That's what- oh my god, this is the f the most ridiculous but also fun mechanic I've ever seen. So I have to deliver these gifts. Somehow. How do I even- I'm trying to think. If I- can I give the... I'm not sure what's going to happen to the POW block, to be honest. Are you going to crush it, or are you going to... That, um... Uh, okay. Oh, I see what I gotta do. I have to balance it on this thing's head. Which I did not do very successfully. And then it's going to get to a certain point, and that's when I gotta do it. it. All right, so now... Then it fall. Oh my god! Please deliver my package safely. All right, now that it's lined up, I hit this. Boom! Okay. Starting to get the, the hang of it. And then weird things happen to the enemies. This is a- this is an incredibly creative concept because it- it could have been a concept all its own, but they managed to theme it. And it's- it's awesome because of that. And it's- it's a puzzle. Uh, so I gotta figure out what to do if I... I can't throw the power block, right? Because that was the whole point. But... I also don't know how to... do this, because I think I need the shelmet. So I- oh god. Oh, I destroyed the shelmet. And now I'm trapped. So I've been staring at this for a while, trying to figure it out, and... here's what I've come up with. Don't know how... Correct I am, but the Shelmet, I think, is used at the very, very end, because you're still mini Mario, but you gotta walk across a spike, which means that you'd take a hit from the Shelmet. So the Shelmet must be the very last thing that you need. The question is, what do you do with the POW block? I mean, I could use it to kill that thing, but that doesn't actually... It doesn't get me any closer to... my goal. I... Although, how do you stomp on this? I don't... Do I just throw this up? See, I can't... I'm not sure... Hmm, I need to step on that, but I, I have no idea how. I have an idea, and I don't know if it's the intended way, but... If I throw that... But I'm far enough off screen to get the shelmet... Then I have a shelmet... Once I have the Shelmet, I can leave, come back in, and then I can use the Shelmet to make this thing jump up here. If you're asking what does that accomplish, I couldn't tell you, I have no idea. I just know that it was a thing that I could do. I mean, now that I've done it, I, I don't know, um, I guess maybe it's possible to drop this? Oh my god, it is! Okay. Is that the way you do things? Pfft, I don't know. Maybe. Um... In fact, I could actually probably get away with keeping the Shelmet... ...by going this route, if I... Well, no, if I drop on that, it's gonna bounce. Okay, screw it. I'm just gonna keep moving on, then. That was pretty difficult to figure out. Um... So, I've got three presents this time. And... Where do the... Oh, I have to use the presents to get to... Right? I have to use the presents to get 
to the P-switch. Yes. I'll put one there. And I can space them out. And that should be fine. I just have to make sure I'm running when I do it. Yee. A little, little scary. Not gonna lie. Okay. Now, I can get to the P-switch. And then that's it? Like, I just have to get over there? I think? As long as I get there, I'm good? Yeah, I think so. So... Yeah, that was... okay. I can even take a POW block with me, which could help in the next scenario if I have an extra POW block, I don't know. Oh god. Oh jeez, what's happening? Oh my god. It's, how fast can you move while this very threatening, uh... Christmas music plays? And the snow falls. Don't get me wrong, this is super freaking cool. Like, I- I have- I have actually- actually absolutely adored this. But at the same time, it's also... Uh... Very... Difficult. Very thought-provoking. Very, uh... Very much a head-scratcher. We're good here. Yeah. I don't want to get hit by these cl I don't think the clouds will hurt me, but... I don't know. Okay, you got this. Oh my lord. Now there's... I'm trying to get this to some kid! Yeah. Okay, we're good, we're good. Where's it go, where's it go, where's it go? In here... Got it! Oh yeah! This- This is such a freaking good level! In a- in a feel-good level, too! Alright. Wow, there are so many doors. You need so many keys. But I have many keys. And I'm going to the top level here. And I'm at my back at the North Pole or something? Go into the pipe. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that is cool. This is super, super cool. That... Okay, don't get me wrong. A very weird level to play in August. But holy crap, what an incredible level. S like... Once again, like I said at the beginning, it, mechanically it would have been cool just dropping POW blocks onto certain things, but to theme it Christmas and then do all the, the sound effects and the music, like, that's awesome! What a great level! I wish I would have played it closer to Christmas, but you can't really plan these things. That's amazing. That's absolutely incredible. Anyway, that is it for today, and that is it for the week. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have a level of your own that you would like to submit, or if you want to play these submitted levels and help rate them to decide what gets shown on future episodes of Morning Mario, you can do both by heading over to MorningMario.com. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next week for more Stephen Plays Morning Mario.